In this video, I am going to cover a trading tip or a trading hack, so to speak. I'm going to call it a trading hack. It's not really a trading hack. Um, but all right, guys, let's say that you are on an Apex Trader funding top step or you're trading your own cash and you're using TradingView. Um, one of the items that, that I like to use in order to save some money and usually get in a, a little bit better fill than just hitting the market, guys, is you need to get familiar with using uh, using TradingView's trade tab or the depth of market tab. So to give you an example, one of the items, uh, let's say we're over here on the ES or I don't know, let's, um, all right. So let's go to the trade tab. If you open up at the bottom of the screen, first I want to show you how you can get there, uh, how you can how you can get this accomplished. So let's head over to the Japanese yen, right? So symbol 6J1 and then exclamation point, which is the continuous contract. Once you have logged into your broker, so for example, you're trading uh, an Apex Trader Funding Challenge or any other prop firm, and you're using TradingView, what you want to do is you want to log into Tradeavate, you click on Tradeavate, and then once you click on your symbol, uh, at the bottom of the screen, you click on, you, you open up the trading panel, which is at the bottom of the screen, and then click the place an order via, via order panel or DOM. You click the trade button. On the bottom of the screen here, so if we see the bottom of the screen, we can change our units. We can buy market. We can sell market. Guys, one of the ways that you can uh, pretty consistently get better fills is rather than just placing a buy market or a sell market what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here to the depth of market which are the otherwise known as the ladders on the left side of the screen you can see i can place a limit order using the dom and then it will show up on the chart i can drag as such so i can drag the order up and down the depth of market now in addition to that guys if if i were to click and hold down control on the keyboard so i'm holding down control ctrl on the bottom if I were to put in, uh, see how it's now a buy stop order. So on the left side, guys, are buys. On the right side are sells. If you hold down control before you click, it'll go from a limit order to a stop order. Okay. So one of the things that I like to do, usually to get a little bit better fills than if I were not to do this, is, all right, I'm going to open up one here, one limit Japanese yen. I'm just going to place that order there and then the market, let's say I want to go long rather than hitting the rather than pressing the buy market button, I'm going to put an or a, a buy order really close to the market like one or one or two ticks below the market. Similarly, I could place a short order here so if the market went up there, it would enter me in short. So, this is one of the ways that you can typically get better fills. Now let's say that I have, all right, I've got a position open here in live hogs. Okay, so I'm on live hogs. I have five contracts open. You can see that if I open up the trade panel, I have it open. The highlighted box there is the same price as where my order, where my line is. Okay, so if I want to put in a break even stop, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the depth of market. I'm going to go to the sell side because the stop order is going to be a sell stop. I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard. So again, CTRL on the bottom right. And I just put it right on where I have my position. So now I have a break even stop in. And if the market came back down, all I would lose would be uh, commissions. But I can trail the stop up. For example, I can put the stop here. So now I'm locking in some profit. So if I drag, if I drag the order up, now you can see that my sell stop has gone up on the chart. You can drag and drop on the chart, but I personally, I like using the, uh, the depth of market here. So when you're entering in on a trade, my recommendation to you is consider entering in uh, close to the market using the depth of market rather than actually hitting the buy market or the sell market button. In addition to that, guys, this has just been a, a brief tutorial on you know getting familiar with TradingView and using the using the tab here so guys if you like this content please make sure to like comment subscribe and make sure to use the affiliate links in the description box below the whenever you use the affiliate links guys that really helps me out uh, 
in growing the channel and helping me financially. So please make sure to use the affiliate links in the description box below. Bye-bye.